God, I wish I started when I was younger. I go, well, yeah, but you didn't. So shut the fuck up and let's <laughs> right. keep going. Okay. You're not sick. No, no. In fact, Helen, I'm hungry and I wish I had a snack. Hungry? Starving. What is this? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I need this. <sighs> Natalia! When I'm through with you! Oh! When I'm through with you! Oh my god! You will see! We need to talk. I think this relationship has... If you leave me, I will kill myself. And admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? I just love hanging out with you. You're literally just so beautiful and such a ray of sunshine, and the world is, like, lucky to have you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ugh, come here. Oh, you look hot. Ah, don't hug me. I was just thinking about it. Um, We don't have a single picture together, like, in the same room. You know, surfer's not even my job. I know. And it is not lifeguard, which is a common misconception. Very common. Yeah, because actually my job, it's just beach. What is this? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I need this. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. <gasps> How can I only have four friends? And one of them's my mom. I love anxiety because I'll be fine and then I will just start making stuff up. Like, I'll be in fight or flight mode as if there's a bear chasing me. But it's all because I started thinking, what if someone I know were to get sick and die? I told my mom my red flag in life is that anytime I leave the house, I have to spend money. And she goes, hmm, why is that? And I said, well, it's because I left the house. I need to reward myself. I need a little snacky snack. Or a little drinky drink. The girls that get it. No, but yeah, like, that's the thing. It's just, like, ugh. Anyway. What was I talking about? Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh, girl, please, bitch, ho. Oh. think it's cute i mean like some toddlers i see they're cute but a baby like a newborn my first reaction is like that's spooky looking but like a baby kitty love it adorable from birth to adulthood adorable newborn to humans nah <gasps> oh my goodness i love this question um i think hi 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 i was just oh. calling to see if i could make a doctor's appointment for me okay oh <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh my, how old are you? I'm 22. I'm into let me chill. I'm into let me leave me alone. <laughs> I'm into let me get the hell out of here. Wow, we are really out here, huh? Really doing it. We are so far out here. My phone is on the G network. I'm just letting y'all know that if we do end up needing help, we cannot use my cell phone. Why are all these bugs attacking me? Of course I'm wearing perfume. You think I'm gonna let myself stink like the wild? So what's for lunch? Oh no, I won't be eating trout. I actually brought Trader Joe's soup dumplings. Do you need my lighter for the fire? You're gonna use sticks. Jesus. So where's the bathroom? Are you kidding me? Well, do you at least have toilet paper? 
Where are my magazines? Are you guys using them as kindling? Are you f What am I supposed to do now? Hike? There is so much dirt. Where is it all coming from? Okay, well, I'm ready to go home. Sabrina, I have something to tell you, but you cannot say I told you so. I would never. What is it? It's about Christina. Christina? Don't rub it in my face, but like, I thought she was really fun and like pretty and cool. Yes. I thought we were hitting it off, but like, now I can see you were kind of right. She's like definitely kind of a snake. Mm-hmm. Just walked over to the bathroom. Okay. And I heard Christina talking. Okay. And she was like completely talking about me. I am so sorry that's happening to you. I'm gonna say something to her for you. Oh my God, really? Of course. And there's one more thing I'm going to say and I'm just gonna say it one time, but I get to say it. I told you so. There are three types of girls in the fall. First, we have the spooky season girls. These are the girls that just care about Halloween. For them, putting together a Halloween costume is equivalent to celebrities and the Met Gala. Like, it is the event of the year. And not to mention, they have every single scary movie lined up and ready to watch. Also, these are the girls that will have their decor ready in, like, August. It is still summer. I'm gonna need you to chill. Second are the girls that are in absolute denial that summer's ending. Like, I love fall, but why did summer feel like it was two seconds long this year? Like, does anybody else feel that? These are the girls that it could be like 40 degrees out and they're still trying to have a beach day. Like, just put a pumpkin spice in your hand and breathe. Last are the cozy girls. These are the girls who live for the fall activities and love the cold weather. The minute a leaf hits the ground, they are in their cardigans and they have a hot drink in their hand. Hey, Hannah, I'm going to tell my mom that I'm hanging with you instead of John today. Is that okay? Hey, yeah, I see you. I see you. Can you park at the back of the house? Yeah, my parents are home and they'll see you. Yeah, they'll, they'll kick your ass. <laughs> Oh, that's my dad. That's my dad. Okay, doc, doc, hide, hide. Happy to get to hang out with each other. Oh, that's, that's my mom's friend. Okay, hide. We gotta hide. Okay, okay, gotta go. Oh, this is for me. This is so cute. But I can't bring this in the house. They're gonna ask. I can't have it. I miss you too. Sorry, here, my mom. I gotta go. Bye bye. I'm gonna tell you about the time that I trusted a man, okay? Are you ready? The lashes are from Lash View. Thank you for listening. Mwah. So yeah, after I broke up with my ex-girlfriend, Amy, it just all went downhill from there. Amy Shelfield? As fucking- How do you know Amy? How? That's my best friend's ex-girlfriend. Wait. Your best friend as in Rachel? Far. It is a small world. It is a small community. Yeah, wow. So then, okay, so if you know those two, you must know Lily, right? Oh, don't even get me. Lily, you bring up Lily. Really? You had to bring up Lily? Why? What's wrong with Lily? That's my ex. Now, we're talking about my ex. Oh, no. Tunnel buddies. Tunnel buddies? Yeah, like when we sleep with the same person. She's also my ex as well. Oh, Tunnel Buddies, right. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, crazy, right? That's insane. She was good, though, right? I don't really feel like we should be talking about... Yeah, no, she was actually, she was pretty good. I know, I, t I... Okay, did you know the bend over backwards method? You're kidding me. You're kidding... Did you... You taught her that? I taught her that. She learned that from me. She said that was self-taught the little liar. Of course she did. I can't believe she used that with you. She told me when we last slept together that she would never do that with anyone else. When did you guys last sleep together? Like last week or something? We only broke up a week ago. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, that's awkward, mate. Sorry about that. Did you know that being extremely demanding and cutting people off at the smallest mistake is actually a trauma response and it's not healthy. Hello? Some of y'all may not want to hear this, 
but your life sucks because your attitude sucks. Because it's literally that simple. If you wake up and you're like, I'm gonna have a horrible day, fuck my life, blah, 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 your day's gonna fucking suck. Now, if you wake up and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna have a really good day today, it's gonna be a positive day, I'm thankful, things could be worse, you're gonna have a better day. If you spent half the amount of energy that you spend focusing on the negative and saying, poor me, poor me, and put that energy into trying to be happy, guess what? You're gonna be happy, at least happier. Food for thought, I've seen people like, oh God, must be nice. Yeah, it is nice, and you know what? I'm sure that person that has that life doesn't wake up with a poor fucking attitude in the morning. They're not preying on other people's downfalls. You are. Perfect example, you break your ankle, right? You could be miserable for your recovery time and you could just say, fuck this, this sucks, oh my God, I can't do this, I can't do this. Or you could make the best out of it and you're probably gonna have a better time. Sure, it may not be the best time in the world, your fucking ankle's broken, but it's gonna be a hell of a lot better with a better attitude, right? Change your mindset and change your life. It's as simple as that. I'm not the first one to say it, but Delulu is the Salulu, okay? Now have a great day. Speak up when I hop by the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop by the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop about the cut, I promise I'm gonna make scene got lights can't. I'm not even gonna lie, everyone in here is obsessed with us. So we are one thousand percent gonna be famous someday. We're gonna make it big time. I know, yeah, I know. Like I don't know how. Okay, the maps say that it's twenty five miles away. I'm on two miles to empty. Do you think I'll make it? Oh my gosh, yeah, you'll be totally fine. That's that's what I was thinking. Like usually the gas goes right. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you'll be okay. good. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We don't need to stop and get gas. Oh my gosh, wait. He viewed my story. He did. Wait. He did. Um, I think he viewed it like twenty minutes ago. Oh my gosh, he's totally in love. I posted with you. it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, he's in love with you. You think 100%. so? One hundred percent. You uh -huh. think? Yes. I think that guy is trying to flirt with me. No, I literally thought no. the same thing. Yeah, I agree. Yes, I he agree. was totally hitting on you. When he went up to order, yeah, he ordered the same drink that I did. Stop it right now. He the did not. The same one. That's a tell sign. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's a tell sign. <laughs> you know, I think if I had to go on a singing competition, I would win. Okay, period. Have you ever sang before? No, no. I've actually never sang okay. in my entire life. <laughs> no, yeah. I think you could do it. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I, I just think that right. I would... Yeah, you're right. The the music would take 100 percent This is a dark psychological trick to say if somebody likes you. So you have to cry. It's a bit dark, but it works. If they feel bad and try to comfort you, they like you. But if they get distant or annoyed, they don't. Get ready with me to get suspended from school. You're probably wondering, like, how do you know you're getting suspended? And all this stuff. So me and my friend decided to go live stream um, on our free period because we had no work to do and we were just on TikTok live, literally like minding our own business. And the next day my friend went to school, I stayed home and she told me that she got suspended for it. And she had an internal suspension for six hours at school and then a two day suspension out of school. So that will be me today. And I know that I'm also gonna get suspended because it's my live stream, like maybe even more. Someone had sent an anonymous email to my school and sent like a screen recording of us on live and they said apparently that we were vaping, which definitely wasn't the case. Um, we are definitely not dumb enough to vape on live, um, especially like in class. And the recording wasn't even of us vaping, so I don't know why they would say that if they don't have evidence of that. But yeah, apparently they just have a recording of us on live saying like inappropriate things. And I know I might sound so dumb saying this, but I have literally been suspended for the same thing. And I went and did it again, thinking that I was going to get away with it, which I obviously didn't. But there is a snitch, and I'm finding who this is. Like, I literally don't care. I'm going to find who this snitch is. I don't get why, like, what they get out of it, getting someone else in trouble, would just go on TikTok Live. Let alone making a fake email, sending screen recordings to my school of it. Like, how bothered can you be? Anyways, wish me some luck because I'm going to be in there for like probably six hours without a phone and a laptop. So I was actually meant to start at 7.30 today, but there was going to be no way that I would get there at 7.30 and get suspended like right now. So it's nine o'clock right now. And I think that's like a reasonable time to get to school if I'm like getting suspended. Well, not really reasonable because I was meant to start at 7.30, but today I finished at 5.30. So I'm definitely not sitting in there for 10 hours. I wasn't gonna go to school, but I was just like, well, I might as well just get it over and done with today because Thursdays are my last days instead of Fridays. So then if I do it today, then I can kind of have like a long weekend, you know?
my parents are mad but they kind of think it's like stupid it's a stupid reason to suspend me like for literally just going tiktok live so i just got home and i've suspended for four days and by the way before anyone says anything i'm not proud of things 